All right, I'm at San Diego's U.S. Grand Hotel. It's a luxury collection hotel, and it is the second best hotel in San Diego. Now, make no mistake, number two is pretty much number one because number one is Hotel Dell, but it's over on Coronado Island. So if you want to be in the best downtown San Diego hotel, look no further than the U.S. Grant. It's as cool as luxury hotels. Quick lobby tour before we get to the room. That is where I just did my intro, and here is the palatial opulent lobby of the U.S. Grant. This was built in 1910. Uh, two gold miners, when the gold rush was ending, decided to come to San Diego because they heard how exquisitely beautiful and perfect it was. They said, we need to get in on that. So they spent $2 million and built this hotel. $2 million back in 1910 is probably like, 200 million uh, in today's world. A lot of money went into this place. It's been remodeled a few times over the last century. Just beautiful stuff everywhere. So they have indigenous stuff that pays homage to San Diego as luxury collection and autograph collection hotels do. Uh, look at that beautiful uh, square mirrored tile ball that goes all the way up. Crown molding everywhere. Large marble. Look at the crown molding and the detail. The chandeliers, linear line, the entire ceiling. This over here is the business center. This has to be the classiest business center I have ever seen. More San Diego indigenous native stuff right there. That's if you want to get some work done. Access to the gas lamp area, 16 square blocks of the best shopping, dining, nightlife, whatever you want, this is in the heart of it statues and art everywhere. There is $6.5 million worth of art on property. So if you're an art fanatic and you want to get your fill in San Diego, you would not even have to leave this hotel. As I walk through the lobby again, there is Grant Grill. There's another corridor, another direct access right in the heart of the gas lamp. They have a 100 year aged Manhattan here. Here are some tools of the trade. And you can see right here, inspired collaboration, U.S. Grant, 100 day, sorry, 100 day, 100 day barrel aged Manhattan, crafted in honor of the hotel Centennial. So 100 day and 100 year, I mix it up a little bit, but it is their signature drink. I like how they got the G right on these barrels. Triple A four diamond. Start with excellence, awards, awards, awards. So, best hotel downtown, second in San Diego. Let's go check out the room. All right, inside the room at the U.S. Grant. It's a luxury collection hotel here in San Diego. Arguably, and probably the second best hotel in San Diego behind Hotel Del in Coronado. Nothing is going to beat that place, but I think this is a very, very proud number two. Before I get into this room review, I just want to say it's there's a pandemic. I typically don't like to date my videos because I like the content to be as evergreen as possible, but it, it, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so a lot of this place is closed. Uh, the Grand Grill is closed. The spa's appointment only. The gym is closed 
there's not a lot going on unfortunately which means I'm just gonna have to come back but I want to do the best I can to give you a rundown of this hotel from what I see I can definitely show you this beautiful beautiful room this is an upgrade I think she said this is like a chafee suite or something like that I'm not sure what she said she said it very quickly but definitely a suite a very very luxurious one at that so one of my favorite brands uh, right up there with the addition hotels and of course the JW Marriott in fact I think I like luxury collection hotels more than JW Marriott's because they offer the unique bespoke local vibe and feel much like the autograph collection hotels which people confuse these two they confuse the luxury collection hotels and the autograph collection hotels and I think it's okay that they do because they sound similar they both share a common name which is collection so the luxury collection is Sheridan and the autograph collection is Marriott so now Marriott has both the autograph collection and the luxury collection uh, the luxury collection is a step above the autograph collection usually about nine times out of ten but not always so here we are in the room at the luxury collection hotel US Grant this hotel help is, uh, is is over 100 years old. This hotel was built in 1910 was over two million dollars. That was so much money back then. Uh, I, who knows what that is today? But a ton of money went into this hotel. They remodeled it several times. Tons of heritage. Presidents have stayed here. Celebrities stayed here. This, like I said, it's this is a staple of San Diego. It often gets overshadowed by Hotel Dell, which is the best San Diego hotel. Period. Maybe one of the best Southern California hotels. This is definitely a proud number two. So you walk in. I got my luggage stored right here and this is a sitting area nice TV um, nice little couch let's take a look at what this out couch looks like oh yeah comfortable mm -hmm. surprisingly really really comfortable it looks like it's gonna be more um, form than function it doesn't look like it's gonna be that comfortable it actually really really is so you can easily sleep one person on here or two children Two people if you really had to rough it for a night, but you could certainly sleep one person on there. I like how the TV is really mounted cleanly, no wires. It's really mounted cleanly down there. I like the details on the wall. We move over to what I think was the mini bar and probably will be the mini bar at some point again, just not right now, because anything that can be touched that isn't completely imperative has been removed. You can see they got a sign on the refrigerator where you have to order snacks through in-room dining, but I would venture to say this is a mini bar during normal operations. Safe down there. Let's move. Uh, we have a desk here, and this is really cool. And yes, you can see they've removed everything. Normally, this would be lined with uh, papers, hotel info, room service menu, but because of the times we're currently in, uh, there is nothing to be seen here. But I really like this. This is so cool, so trick, a see-through uh, glass desk. I've never seen this before in my life. Two USB ports, two plugs, and let's check out this chair. Yeah. You can get a couple hours done here. This is an exquisite hotel. I think the rate I paid was around two, two twenty, and I've seen this suite go for around six to seven hundred dollars during normal times. So this is definitely an upgrade. And you know what? It is a pandemic, so I probably wouldn't have got this upgrade during normal times. So you have to take the good with the bad. Immediately, I was struck by that large headboard and uh, these voluminous, tall ceilings are quite magnificent another tv in here you could certainly entertain if you were going to have a wedding party in here uh anniversary if you want to come to san diego for a long weekend and you really wanted to unfurl and relax you would not get too cramped or uncomfortable in this room nice view in the downtown san diego here you have a, a sitting chair not comfortable at all tall tall headboard and i noticed when i walked in this room it's signed, so this is like a, a piece of art. Literally, it's a piece of art. I mean, someone signed their name to it, so that is really interesting. You don't see too many headboards that are works of art. Uh, in fact, I think that's the first one I've seen on this channel that is actually signed, so that is really, really neat. Yeah, let's check out the bed, shall we? Whoa. Oh, wow. I just got back from Cancun, and this bed is twice as soft as any Cancun bed. It should not be that way, but San Diego beds, Miami beds, tropical beds should be really soft. This is so soft. So that was really awesome. I can't wait to see what that is like. Um, really deep, dark, classy wood stain here. Luxury collection robes, best in the business. I like how this is quilted. Not too thick, not too thin, just a solid robe. We have some slippers, I will take those and a luxury collection bag. These are my favorite, are these luxury collection bags. These, these are just proper bags. I use these as, uh, to give gifts. I use these like to put in Christmas presents. This is definitely coming home.
I took a, a, a sneak peek in the bathroom when I walked in and I was a little disappointed. I feel that the bathroom should be much larger. However, this building is well over 100 years old and the hotel is over 100 years old. So they probably did not envision or foresee the need for large bathrooms 100 years down the road. So I understand that. However, I still would like to see a bath in here. If you're paying that much money and it is a luxury hotel brand, you should have a bathtub in here. I like the wallpaper in here. Uh, there's really not much going on. I will definitely use this a time or two before I leave, so I will report back if I need to. But that is a quick room rundown for the US Grant. I think she said this is like a Shafee room or something like that, a Shafee suite. I'll have to go online and see if I can spell that correctly. But this is it in San Diego, the second best hotel. This is what a suite looks like at the US Grant. I'm doing the best I can on this trip, maybe order some room service or something. Try to have as much fun as possible during these really, really pressuring times. You know, I was thinking last night about, you know, I didn't get a chance to go to Grant Grill, which is closed, nor did I have a chance to go to their French-inspired cocktail bar. French-inspired cocktail bar sounds so, so cool. But those two options are here, so if you come here, just know that they are here for you. You can take a look at all the pictures and menus online. Hopefully, they will be reopened again soon. But I got upgraded, and I was only in town for one day. So the fact I wasn't able to see the entire place really didn't matter. If I would've been here for two or three or four days, I would've been really disappointed. But because this is such an abbreviated stay, and I know I'll be back, I'm not really that disappointed about it. Plus, I got upgraded to this magnificent room. I have to start with this bed. This is the best hotel bed I've ever been on. I slept so well. I slept on the plane for like five hours, and I was really concerned about not being able to fall asleep because of the time zone switch and because of the abundance of rest I received that day. I slept like a rock, like a, like a baby. Let me put it back together a little bit so it looks a bit more aesthetically pleasing. I got some pizza shrapnel right here, more pizza shrapnel right there. This was a pizza parlor last night. Okay, so <laughs> this this bench right here, this this bed bench, um, may just look like it is you know a place to put luggage or to sit down. If you're short, you might need this to get into the bed because this thing is like three feet off the ground. I'm six one, and this is up to my mid thigh. So this bed is probably easily three feet off the ground. So it's perched really high. Those of you that like to be perched really high and have a purveying view over thy kingdom, which is your hotel room, this is for you. And then you have the artistic headboard that goes up to pretty much the ceiling. And then, oh, it's really fluffy, but also really firm. I don't know how they pulled both of them off. Probably because probably the bed is somewhat firm, but the bedding is so fluffy. Oh, I could stay here all day. They shouldn't have a bed this comfortable in the hotel room because they want you to be out and about spending money down at the lobby bar, down at the US Grant Grill, down at their spa. If I had another day and I wanted to decompress, if I was in San Diego, mainly as a retreat, I would get this room for an extra day and just chill on this bed. Best bed thus far, unequivocally. Unequivocally awesome. Okay, uh, another thing that I like, I, I saw these products before. I think these were in the Autograph Collection Hotel in Tokyo. But look at this conditioner. This conditioner is so thick. Look at that. It's like shea butter. It is so thick and awesome. And it was really, really well done. I mean, look at this hair, right? Look at this hair. And then the body lotion, which I'm taking with me, is even thicker. I'm taking the lotion with me and I'm gonna order the shampoo. The shampoo? I'm gonna order the shampoo as soon as I get back. Okay, so that is going in my bag. Boom. Besides that, I really had a chance to just unfurl. I used this to set up all my peripherals last night. They have outlets right here, two outlets and then three USB, or actually two USB. And then I was able to get some work done on this desk right here. And it, I, again, I really like the see-through desk. I thought that's really trick. Two USB, two outlets, more than enough room. The Shafee Suite, I still haven't checked on that, I have to. And then here was my dinner last night as well as my breakfast this morning. And this is the pizza parlor. I was able to set up on that couch, put my cameras up here and uh, do an episode of Lefty's Pizza last night. So I really made use of this hotel room. Uh, I didn't expect to be in the room the entire time. I thought at least to go out and do dinner or, or go do something, go to the gym. I didn't. But because this hotel room is so exquisite, so comfortable, so luxurious, so large and so cool, 
I was able to make do in this hotel room the entire night and pretty much didn't leave. So if you want to be downtown gas lamp, you want to be in the midst of it in 16 square blocks of the best restaurants, bars, clubs, opera houses, comedy shops, whatever, this is where you want to be. The U.S. Grant, a luxury collection hotel.